Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Tossin and I make videos on medicine, finance and lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life of an ENT doctor. So ears, nose and throat. So as you guys know, I'm currently a second year GP trainee and as part of my training program, we have to do different rotations in different specialties. I'm currently on a four month rotation in ears, nose and throat and today I am doing a 13 hour on call shift. So the shift can be quite interesting, very spontaneous and can be very hands on as well. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. If you like the video, please make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. So I arrived to the hospital at 8 p.m. and I collected handover from my day ENT colleague. We went through the ward list and she handed over any jobs that needed to be done. She also handed over two patients who needed to be seen in A&E. There was a patient coming in with epistaxis, which is a fancy name for a nosebleed and a patient with a foreign body, query fishbone in the throat. Hey guys, so I just thought I would quickly go through the ENT bag, just to make sure that I have everything ready before I go downstairs a &E to see those patients. So on the bag, we have some goggles. Um, as you know, it's currently the COVID pandemic, so we need to make sure that we're taking adequate precautions to prevent ourselves from catching the virus. Also on the bag, we have this pretty, super duper cool device um, which is quite high tech and I feel like superwoman anytime I wear this and this is the headlight so um, basically it's it's a light source <laughs> but um, it allows you to have your hands free when you are reviewing patients and doing certain procedures so as well as that we have other things in the bag as I mentioned we have a lot of patients who present with nosebleed so um, as you know, those leads are very, very common and the majority of it is stopped by using simple maneuvers. So a lot of people think when you have a nosebleed, you need to tilt your head backwards and pinch the hard part of your nose, but that's completely incorrect. What you need to do if you're having a nosebleed is to pinch the soft part of your nose, lean your head forward and pinch the nose for a few seconds. In most cases, in majority of cases, the nosebleeds just stop. But sometimes that doesn't work and people need to come to a &E or hospital in order to stop the bleeding. So when a patient comes with epistaxis or nose bleeding, um, what I tend to do is I have a good look at the nose and see whether there's any areas which is actively bleeding. Sometimes you can have little spots um, which is bleeding and what you can do is you can get um, a stick which has silver nitrate. So here is a stick and I'm not sure if you guys can see the end of the stick. I'm trying to do the YouTube thing but it's not working. So if there is an area in the nose that's actively bleeding, you can just use this to cauterize or burn off that area and that should stop the bleeding. So this is really useful equipment that we have when we are seeing patients with nosebleed. Um, however, there are some patients who have significant or large amount of bleeding. This is more common in patients who are taking blood thinning medication like warfarin or aspirin and sometimes um, that increases the chances of bleeding and when those patients come they can have a significant amount of blood loss so in those patients it's important that we try and stop the bleeding as rapidly and as quickly and safely as possible so what we use is something called a rapid rhino so it's just a fancy um, equipment which is like a tampon um, you basically soak it in some water and the tampon is inserted into the nose there's also a balloon I don't know if you guys can see it there's a balloon just there as well and you, you inflate that balloon with air and what that basically does is it creates a pressure in the nose and helps to stop the bleeding. So that's what we use this equipment for. In very rare cases, um, a patient might be having a posterior bleed, so a bleed coming from the back of the nose. So if that's the case, then we have to insert a catheter into the nose. Um, you guys have probably seen it and it's commonly used in the patients with um, enlarged prostates who are not able to pass urine normally or go into urinary retention. But in ENT, we can sometimes use a catheter um, if a patient's having a posterior bleed to control the bleeding. So yeah, that's another equipment we have in the bag. Um, yeah, so there are multiple other things in the bag um, that I often use during my ENT shifts, but I need to go and see those patients and make sure that they are okay. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. <sighs> okay. 
Okay guys, so I've just finished seeing um, the two patients in A&E. Um, I saw the first lady with the epistaxis and by the time I got to a &E, she already had a rapid rhino in her nostril, in her right nostril and luckily the bleeding had stopped so I didn't really have to do much um, and she stayed in hospital. The other lady with the fishbone, um, we did a scope so um, we put in a um, camera through her nose into her throat and weren't able to see anything at all. She also had a um, x-ray um, before I was I went to see her in a &E and that was fine but because she was given such a convincing history that the, um, she felt as if there was still something stuck in her throat and also because she wasn't able to eat or drink we had to go ahead and do a CT scan so I'm still waiting for the reports for that to come back. Um, and then we're going to take it from there. Hopefully um, the CT is normal. Um, if that's the case, um, we're probably just going to keep her in for some painkillers um, and then review her in the morning and see um, if um, the pain has settled. Sometimes when people um, have fish or something that's sharp, it can sometimes scratch the back of the throat or the swallowing pipe and that can f give you a sensation that there's a foreign body in the throat when there isn't actually one in there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, there's nothing on the CT scan and she's fine. Um, yeah, so I've seen those two patients and then now I am going to just quickly document for them just to make sure that I've written everything and they're ready to be admitted onto the ward. Hello, Ian TSHO. So I was beeped by Amy to see a patient who was presenting with a possible abscess or a hematoma which is a collection of blood in the earlobe. The reason why we get concerned about this is because the hematoma can cause a lack of blood supply to the cartilage in the ears and then this can cause a complication called cauliflower ears. Hey guys, so I've just seen the patient with the possible um, abscess on the earlobe and yeah, um, there was an abscess there. <laughs> Um, she just had an infection around the piercing so what i did was i just um, cleaned the area with some sterile solution and then i discharged her with some antibiotics and gave her some safety net in so I told her to come back if she becomes small and well becomes more swollen or she has a temperature or it becomes red and um, then she should come back to hospital but i don't expect that to happen um yeah so i've just seen her and then I'm going back to the ENT office now. After seeing that patient, I was bleeped to see a patient who was spiking the temperature on the ward. I reviewed the patient, started them on antibiotics and took some blood cultures. After doing that, I had some time on my hands, so I went on my GP portfolio and did some reflections. Hey guys, so it's currently around 8.30 and I have finished my shift. I've handed over the patients that I admitted um, overnight to the day team and I am super super happy that my night shift has finished and it's come to an end. It started off quite busy but then it kind of died down um, later on as the night went ahead. So I really do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!